This episode of The Map is brought to you by the STJFL and its major partner, Cripps, the master baker, baking great bread since 1878. Hello and welcome to The Map, brought to you by Cripps, the master baker, baking bread here in Tasmania since 1878. Well, the holidays are done and dusted and we're back into the roster matches. But prior to the holidays, we sent our cameras down to North Hobart Oval for the annual gala day in the under nine competition, where a staggering $1,500 was raised for the Leukemia Foundation. Let's go down there now and have a look at all the highlights. Look for the first possession here. They dive on top of the ball. He's got to get it out now. Does so with a hand pass. It was Connor Klimke. Klimke did well. But it's a chance now for Lauderdale. Off the boot of Blake Johansson. Johansson couldn't kick the goal, but there's still an opportunity. Angus Fisher now trying to get round under his right boot. Snaps it back. I oh. think he might have put it through, Duff. He has. Kicks towards the goal square now. Picking it up once again. Blake oh. Johansson. He's going to be very dangerous down there. Snaps it across his body again. And there's a second goal for Lauderdale. They are off to a flyer, two straight 12. Kicks it down towards that centre corridor. Here's a big chance now for New Norfolk. He turns around onto the right boot, down towards the goal square. Was it a mark in front? Umpire says no, play it on. Defenders trying to get it out now. Here's a chance for New Norfolk. Got to get him on the boot, Townsend. What can he do? Trying to use that big body to bust through. But he can't do it. They're wrapping it up. Still he goes. Nice work. The kick's on its way and he's put it through. Riley Blackaby in the end got the goal. James Bannister now, kicks it down towards centre half forward. First of the ball should be the Demons players, but oh, with speed coming in there nicely was Thomas Newton. Newton kicks down towards the uh, half forward flank. A chance for the Bulldogs to get the first goal. Aiden Scott is tagged, gets it around onto his right boots. A floaty looking kick, oh. has he put it through? He has! Oh, interesting from the goal umpire. Mallinson, Mallinson dropped the mark. Good enough to recover, a good pressure from Aiden Scott. Mallinson, beautiful work, silky skills on show here today. The pack is formed, waiting for the ball. Gets over the top of that pack. At the back, not marked, not paid to the Claremont man. Didn't have enough of it to the umpire. Now they're a chance, the Bulldogs. They're running for the centre. Get it down towards half forward. Now in a full forward. Goes to ground. Got to get to his feet. Give the hand pass away. Could be a chance now. Can he get it under the boot? He can. Oh, what a goal to Crispin McMillan. They're not done with yet, the Claremont boys. It was fantastic to see so many children running around on the oval, but it wouldn't happen week in, week out if it wasn't for the volunteers. And none are better than this man here, Mark Cooper. The thing I wanted to talk to you about was your umpiring. Um, you obviously enjoy it. Which uh, been out there with the kids? It is good being out there. Um, been doing, been with the kids. Got a couple of older kids as well that have been doing it. So I've sort of been around a few years. And Jackson, Jackson. Um, yeah, it's good being out there, been teaching the kids the rules. And, and it's difficult, isn't it, because there's so many interpretations? Yes. How do you find that? Ah, uh, I just try to make it as clear as possible. Tell the kids what's what's going on. And, and what they've done wrong if, if I've blown the whistle so that they know for next time. And what I find is after one or two, they're, they're really good and pick up on what's going on and yeah. just make it loud enough so the parents can hear as well so everyone knows where they stand. Well, that's what I really picked up on, just you're really good in tan and I could tell that you were very clear in your decision, so well done on that. Thanks. <coughs> Excuse me, and um, so there's a new fella playing today, was there? You just pointed somebody out? Uh, yeah, I did have uh, a couple of new kids that have uh, come on board, but uh, the the one in particular I picked out today just um yeah just put in great effort, asked a few different things of him, and just to, to keep him challenged, um, and he did a great job for me, so I'm really proud of him. Well, good luck effort. for the rest of the year. No worries, and we'll so. catch the Bulldogs out there again soon. I hope so. Good on you. All right, thanks, Beauty. mate. Cheers. <laughs> now we thank Mark there for his time. Now the big burning question is, how do I get my team on the map? Well, it's simple. All you have to do is email us on this number here and we will organise to come out to your club to film your team. That's right, so get on the old laptop, send it in to this email number and we'll be coming out to your club so you'll be highlighted on the map. We're going to catch you next week. See you later. I do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to my, my daily, daily bread, Crips Master Loaf. Be it white, wholemeal or nine grain, I will enjoy freedom 
from artificial preservatives. In a bread crafted from pure Tasmanian flour. And we love how it tastes. to the occasion. Munching on only the freshest loaves. Baked daily at Cripps since 1878. I will proudly fly the Cripps flag. In a toast to this great nation. We call Tasmania. Upon this, I swear. Cripps Masterloaf. Tasmanians swear by it.